Good morning guys on day 76. Today I'm living at the crack of dawn. Why? Because 20 pilgrims and one bathroom. Not a good combination. I haven't been up this early since France, I believe. But, you know, have a 24 kilometer day ahead of me and I think the terrain is gonna get a little bit steeper today. So I'm looking forward to having breakfast in the next town. What a crazy morning walking on the very narrow shoulder of the side of the road but with amazing views of the fog, the sunrise and uh, after walking for four kilometers I made it to Von Convento where I had breakfast, the usual, cappuccino, croissant, I had some orange juice and a little sandwich. It is extremely cold on this uh, 1st of October and it looks like it's gonna start to get steep right up ahead. Let's go for it. And then this happened, but at least it happened with this view. What do you guys think? Check out all the vines. Oh man, just another day on the Via Francigena. Actually, the last time that I got rained on was when I was uh, getting to Ponte San Martin. It was such a long time ago, just coming down from the Alps. It might be raining, but at least I have a great view of Monte Alcino in the distance I hope that I will go there, but I think the via goes around it and it goes to a different town. Seems like Tuscany is throwing everything he's got at me. First it was uh, high winds, then the sun and the dust, and now it is the rain. Made it to, uh, to Rainier, where I'm gonna have a little coffee and a little break. I'm about 70% of the way uh, to town and it's uh, 10.30, so I should make it around noon but I'm climbing about 200 meters which is gonna be challenging to say the least let's just enjoy that coffee now Quick snack, leaving uh, Torrenieri, and I have six kilometers uh, to go, and it looks like it's gonna be on the road. Climbing about 200 meters, so, so let's get going. So 
I made it to San Quirico at, uh, what was it, 1.30 p.m. and decided to have something to eat. So I went to the main square and I went for a pizza and a beer and a coffee while I waited until uh, 3.30 when they opened both the parochial and a new burger that they just opened. I got myself a room out in the open with all the other pilgrims and I took a shower and I washed my clothes. You guys know the routine already. This is a great little town up here on the hill. Check out that echo. <laughs> and I've decided that tomorrow, instead of doing 30 plus kilometers on a very steep incline, I'm gonna split the day in two and I'm finally gonna head for the thermal bath. So tomorrow is gonna be a 15 kilometer day and the day after is gonna be about the same. And uh, right now I'm thinking of going to the supermarket, buying some supplies, and instead of buying food at a bar or a restaurant, we're gonna cook tonight. Should be interesting. a quick trip to the supermarket to buy some supplies so that we could make ourselves our own dinner. It was pasta with wine and dessert. And now we're just gonna enjoy it here, as pilgrims do, at the Hostelo. And uh, there's people here from France, Italy, and Cuba. And we're gonna enjoy, we're gonna enjoy a meal together. So let's dig in. <laughs> The night is over. We had an amazing pilgrim uh, dinner. We also had a uh, Get this, four bottles of wine between five people and I feel like I have one all to myself. So right now I'm not responsible for what I say. Uh, it is my turn to do the dishes since I didn't cook. What an amazing night. That is one of the things that I miss the most about the Camino de Santiago is uh, having a pilgrims uh, meals where we actually cook for each other. We all go to the supermarket and buy the things that we like. We cook them and we bring it to the table and then we just talk and talk some more. It is 10 o'clock at night. We were speaking in Italian, French, and Spanish, English, and we were somehow we were all understanding each other. Or maybe that was the wine, who knows. Having said that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>